Welcome back, LHS. I'm Amari Neal. And I'm Noah. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and we have student information, sports updates, and more. This is your Blue Devil News. Miss Alsop's Digital Art and Design 2 class is offering design services for clubs, sports, and other organizations in need. Email Miss Alsop with any requests for flyers, posters, or other graphics. Lebanon High School's musical production of Mary Poppins opens tomorrow night at 7 p.m. There will be also be shows Friday and Saturday night and a man maintenance on Sunday at 3 p.m. The University of Tennessee's special education program is now accepting applications for teachers to begin coursework on July 1st, 2023. Host of graduation stoles are in. Seniors, if you ordered a stole, please pick it up and C304 with Ms. Tomlinson. If you did not get to order one, there are a few extras that can be purchased at time of pickup. Cost is $25. March 21st through the 26th is National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. Lebanon High School's Youth Prevention Coalition wants you to know that this week is all about the science behind drug and alcohol use. The YPC hopes to inspire conversations with other students and parents about these topics. YPC also would like you to follow them on Instagram at LHS.YPC. Any girls interested in playing soccer next season, after school lifting will begin this Thursday from 3 to 4.15. Stop by Coach McFerrin's room if you need more details. Lebanon's band is hosting a community yard sale on Saturday, April 1st. It is open to anyone and will take place in the band parking lot. The sale will run from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. A parking spot will cost $25. Those are your announcements for today. We'll be back after these segments. Today we have a high of 59 and a low of 46. Currently it is 49 degrees outside and cloudy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Come on, game point. Hey, bro, watch where you go. You got something to say? Ay, Dios mío. I'm James and I'm here with sports. Baseball got a big win over Wilson Central on Monday, including a big sixth, sixth inning. This week, they'll play the Wilson County Invitational. Softball's next game is tomorrow as they travel to Springfield. Varsity plays at five. Soccer added another tally to the win column over Wilson Central last night by a score of five to one. They'll play Warren County tomorrow night at home. Varsity plays at seven. 
The next LHS tennis meet is tomorrow at home against Mount Juliet. In the World Baseball Classic final, Japan defeated the United States 3-2, ending the game with Shohei Otani striking out his Angel teammate Mike Trout. The Preds took a commanding 7-3 win over the Sabres last night, bouncing back from Monday's tough loss. The host Seattle tomorrow night at 7, and the Grizzlies took care of the Mavs last night, 112-108. They'll host the Rockets two games in a row to finish out the week. That's all for sports today. Back to Noah and Amari. For real-world news, we have heard that Donald Trump has not yet been arrested for using government funds to support a model. Trump's advisors are frustrated by a lack of information. In global news, a powerful earthquake kills at least 13 people in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The death toll from the strong earthquake that struck northern, northeastern Afghanistan on Tuesday could rise much higher. At least 13 people have been confirmed dead so far after the 6.5 magnitude quake sent residents fleeing from their homes and towns across northern Afghanistan and Pakistan. That's all the news we have for today. I'm Amari. And I'm Noah. This has been the news to you from the white and blue.